Karl Rove is a well-known Bush administration ghoul and neoconservative. He's the guy who famously took a look at George W. Bush and said, I can make that guy president. Um, he is like one of these evil masterminds of uh, the right wing playbook. He went on Fox News and he did a segment here with the hosts and he melted down over Obama voicing the most tepid criticism I've ever heard um, about the Trump administration and how they're handling COVID. Let's watch. It's a bit surprising to see President Obama, for me anyway, take a shot at President Trump in a, commence, a virtual commencement address mm -hmm. about his pandemic coverage. I thought he was supposed to be inspiring the next generation of graduates. I don't know if that, that fits in, but it must sound familiar. Because isn't didn't President Obama take countless shots at you and the Bush administration? Well, yeah, but look, it's uh, you put your finger on it. It is so unseemly for a former president to take the the, the virtual commencement ceremony for a series of uh, historically black colleges and universities and turn it into a political drive-by shooting. I mean, I, 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 you know, this is a moment where these young graduates could be inspired for, to a life of service, to you know, recognize that life is going to bring challenges and how we handle the challenges is going, to, is going to demonstrate our character. There are lots of positive messages that the former president could have delivered, but the news that we have out of this speech, out of this appearance is, he says, quote, the pandemic has finally fully torn back the curtain that so many of the folks in charge know what they're doing, don't know what they're doing. Lots of them aren't even pretending to be in, in charge. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, so, you know, as I was watching this segment, I was reminded of the entire Obama era. And, like, don't get it twisted, guys. I have a lot of criticisms of Obama. They're criticisms from his left. They're very detailed policy criticisms. You could agree or disagree with those criticisms. But the, the criticisms I have are certainly reasonable. They're certainly substantive. The entire time Obama was in office, Fox News was hitting him with nothing but the most absurd, silly, partisan hack criticisms you've ever heard. So, look at the argument here. By the way, did you catch the thing he said in the middle? Oh, Obama turned a commencement speech into a political drive-by shooting. Really? 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 Now listen, I'm inclined to chalk up anything that seems like it's off the cuff to being off the cuff. I'm not out here word policing, alright? But when I hear that, I go, oh, he definitely thought that up beforehand, and he could not wait to say that our first black president did a political drive-by shooting. You know damn well. I'm convinced he thought of that line beforehand and he couldn't wait to deliver it because of, and here's that famous term that people have used for a while, because of the dog whistle aspect of it. That's what I think. But now to the actual criticism itself, again, I got a million criticisms of Obama. I could sit here and ring them off for you if you'd like. Probably first on the list is the increase of the drone strikes, killing 90% civilians, letting Wall Street criminals off the hook, letting the George W. Bush administration tortures off the hook, so on and so forth. I can go on and on, but let's put that aside for this segment because it's not relevant to the conversation we're having here. The whole point from Fox News is not like, oh, this particular criticism that he made of Trump is bad, although they think that. To them, it's the whole idea, the whole concept of Obama having any criticism of the current of the current president is beyond the pale, not allowed, not okay, outrageous, offensive, that the former president would say anything about the current president. That's so silly, I can't... Like, Obama, by the way, has actually gone out of his way to be like that and really not do direct criticisms of Trump. Really gone over the top with it. It's really infuriating. It's really annoying. It's like he is trying to stay out as much as possible when it comes to criticizing the current president. The line that they're talking about was such a, like, throwaway, 
like, yeah, what this crisis is showing us is that we have some bad leaders who aren't handling this well. Bro, we didn't have the right number of tests. We didn't have the stockpile of antiviral drugs. We didn't have the right number of hospital beds. We didn't have the right number of ventilators. He, for the first month of the damn crisis, they were lying and downplaying just as much as China was in their early days of it when they were lying to the world. What do you expect him to say? Do you expect him to just be, yeah, everything's great? Our death toll has got to be around 100,000 or over 100,000 people dead now. What do you expect him to say? Yeah, that number's not bad. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> They're so ridiculous. I do not miss the Obama era with the BS criticisms from the right. This immediately reminded me of the terrorist fist jab comment. You guys remember that? Um, it was at a rally. This was, I think, when he was running in 08. He was at a rally, and Michelle gave a speech, and they gave each other a fist bump when Obama came up to talk. And um, Fox News said, is that a terrorist fist jab? Sean Hannity attacked Obama for the way he eats his burger. He had, like, mustard on it or something. Listen, the same kind of... The same stuff you see today with Trump derangement syndrome where they go after every single tweet regardless of what it says. They're outraged by it. They're offended by it. They made up all of Russiagate. Like, this, the same... It was the same thing with Obama, except with Obama, the Russiagate was either Benghazi or the, um... The birtherism thing where they they try to argue he's like Obama wasn't born in the US he's a Kenyan Muslim Marxist or something like they're just as bad if not way worse on Fox News with this stuff and now like this reminded me of that entire era political drive-by shooting he said it was the most tepid criticism I've ever heard it was incredibly accurate of a criticism it was like in passing, and they're melting down and doing segments over it on Fox News, where they're not just disagreeing with the criticism, they're saying the entire concept of any criticisms is illegitimate and off the table. They are, as much as they think they're like tough guys and they love to go after snowflake culture, they are snowflakes. They seriously are. They can't handle anything. God forbid the former president says anything, even a throwaway line, even in passing, not mentioning it by name. How dare you guys stop it! Why would you say such mean things? Drive-by shooting. I do not miss that era at all. And things have always been super deranged, and this is another example of it here.